by default in DWM there is no lock screen but the guys at Suckless actually made a very simple lock screen called Slock and it's very easy and straightforward to install it just has basically I guess you could say two states or yeah two states well three the initialization state which is just when the the lock screen starts and I'll show you right now so this is the first state then the next state is when you're entering input and the third state is when you fail or succeed so if you uh, fail then uh, like this it will show red if you succeed um, it will unlock your screen now if you do backspaces and you clear whatever input you're entering by default inside of the configuration let's just go into that uh, it will treat a uh, a clearing of the password as a failed attempt and you can by changing this variable here to zero I haven't tested it but I'm assuming that it won't treat that clearing as uh, a wrong password but let's just scroll up here to init and it is just where it, uh, when it starts when it initializes it uh, sets the screen black while you're entering input in my case I have like a blue color and then when it's failed or cleared I set it to like a pinkish reddish color now uh, the issue that I had with this is that when I run a sudo make clean install to install the program it installs it to uh, this local folder here instead of the regular bin folder and I'm not too sure why maybe it might have to do with this uh, the 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 privileges group I, I don't know I'm not too sure honestly but if we go to the arch wiki page here it tells you to create this file here now uh, the, the issue with this is that by default here under this file it tells you um, it tells the the service to look in this directory here user bin which is the the default directory but if we look here um, it wasn't installed there so when I was trying to do that uh, to run my my lock screen when I suspended my PC it just never started it was really really frustrating because uh, I didn't really know what was wrong and then it took me back to being in college when I had a professor that said read the effing output and that's what I did here I just started reading the output and then I saw what was wrong but anyway so let's just go on by uh, editing this file so we will do sudo uh, nano and like that so all right so this is basically the structure the description doesn't matter uh, this is important here because this will let it run um, before the I think the the laptop actually sleeps and then we have the service here and the user is going to be the person executing this and here it says percent I because um, I guess to make it more dynamic it takes a variable which you'll see and when when I explain how to actually set up the service but basically this is a parameter that's passed through the service when the laptop closes and so it tries to uh, read that and then associate it with the service to to shut down the uh, the well not shut down but lock the screen um, and, it, and it makes it more flexible because if you if you have many users then I guess you can in theory create many services running in the background and everyone will be able to lock the screen versus if you have one uh, static user here you it won't be able to lock for everyone so it depends on your use but anyway, uh, I'm not too sure what type does. This doesn't really matter. This is just a display you want to lock. Um, this is to disable, I believe, Energy Star or something like that, like power saving features. I'm not too sure. Um, but it's related to that. And then this is what's important here. So if you're binary, you just have to find where it's actually located and then uh, put the path here, right? And then after that, you... Uh, just have this these two lines here and uh, the wanted by uh, sleep dot target and I've seen some people do wanted um, by uh, suspend that target but I think uh, uh, sleep dot target sort of has like it, it sort of how do you say it includes suspend in it so there's no need to suspend is kind of redundant so there's no real point in um, in having suspend also here because sleep covers it 
So once we're, we're done editing that, we just control X. Then we start the actual service here, like it says in the Arch Wiki here. So let's just uh, copy and paste this. So we do sudo systemctl enable um, here. So uh, we just replace uh, user with whatever username we have. So for me, it's uh, John here. That's my username. And we can just hit uh, enable. And then once you suspend your screen, you'll see that it'll work. Um, but the important thing is just this this path here because in the file I had it originally as uh, USR slash bin, and that's what was causing my screen uh, screensaver to uh, well not screensaver but the lock screen to not uh, activate. So that's about all. I hope you found this useful.